here is your latest African news. Mauritania ex guantanamo prisoner sues Canada over alleged role in his detention. A former Guantanamo detainee who spent 14 years without trial and whose story was told in a hit film, The Mauritanian, is suing Canada over its alleged role in his detention. Mohamedou Ultslahi, 51, claims that Canada authorities provided false information concerning the period when he was a permanent resident in Montreal in 1999, which led to his arrest and subsequent torture at the infamous U.S. prison. According to his complaint, Slahi is seeking $28 million for the damages he suffered. In the lawsuit, Slahi says he faced physical beatings, sleep deprivation, forced standing, incessant noise, sexual assaults, mock assassinations, death threats, religious humiliation and more while at Guantanamo. Slahi's story was a best-selling book that was adapted for the screen. Following the September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States, Slahi came under suspicion of involvement in the unsuccessful plot to bomb Los Angeles in 1999. Arrested in 2001 in Mauritania, he was then successively imprisoned in Jordan and Afghanistan before arriving at Guantanamo in 2002 in what he called in his book a world tour of torture and humiliation. He was released in 2016. Cameroon. Cameroon signs Russian military deal. Cameroon has signed an agreement with Russia for military cooperation. According to security sources, this agreement is part of the continuation of military ties between the two countries for several years, with the emphasis recently on the revision of the military deal signed in 2015. In the 13-page document, the two countries agreed to exchange opinions and information on defense policies and international security, development of relations in the areas of joint training, medicine, topography or military hydrography. They also agreed to exchange experiences and interactions in peace support operations under the aegis of the United Nations. The symbolic deal established in Moscow comes as several countries around the world withdraw ties with Kremlin to impose sanctions. Niger Niger Parliament votes in favor of foreign troop presence. MPs in Niger have approved legislation that would allow the deployment of more European special forces in the country to help in the fight against insurgents. Parliament on April 22nd voted overwhelmingly in favour of the proposed bill with 131 votes saying yes and 31 saying no. Niger's Prime Minister Ohumudu Mahamudu rejected criticism from opponents to the bill and told parliamentarians that the country was virtually surrounded by armed terrorist groups. Civil society groups have raised concerns about the presence of foreign troops, saying they threaten national sovereignty. Guinea Former Guinean leader Alpha Conde set free by the military government. Guinea's ousted president Alpha Conde is finally free and can receive visitors, the military who overthrew him has said. Conde became Guinea's first democratically elected president in 2010, but the 84-year-old was deposed by army officers last year and replaced by Colonel Mamadi Dumboya. He was allowed to go to the United Arab Emirates for medical treatment in January, coming back to Guinea on April 10. The statement said Conde will stay at his wife's house in the capital, Conakry, until his own private house is constructed in the suburb of Kipe. The coup followed fierce protests over Conde's successful bid for a third term in office, which critics said breached the constitution. Dumboya, who has been sworn in as interim president, has promised to restore civilian rule, but resisted international pressure to commit to a date. Central African Republic Country passes bill to make Bitcoin legal. The Central African Republic has unanimously adopted a bill to make Bitcoin legal tender in the country. 
As per the report, the Central African Parliament Bill was approved on April 21, 2022. CAR is the first country in Africa to take the initiative to make Bitcoin a legal tender. The Digital Economy, Post Services and Telecommunications Minister Guna Zako and the Finance Minister Kaliste Nganongo started the initiative and prepared the draft for the Bitcoin law. As the adoption and popularity of cryptocurrencies increase, it has been marked as an important asset class for various investors to add to their portfolios. The adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender will transform the country's infrastructure, which will allow the nation to implement blockchain technology in various sectors. Diaspora Nelson Mandela mural unveiled in Liverpool A mural of Nelson Mandela has been unveiled in Liverpool ahead of a planned visit by his family. The artwork in Toxteth pays tribute to the South African leader who was given freedom of the city of Liverpool in 1994 for his role in ending apartheid. Created by local artist John Kalshaw, it shows Mr. Mandela in deep thought. Stephen Nze, ambassador for charity Mandela 8, who commissioned the piece, said he hoped the mural would inspire people to stop and think. The mural on the Kumba Imani Millennial Center building on Princes Road is the first of two new memorial pieces being created in the area. A memorial garden in the city's Princes Park will be unveiled by Dr. Mandela and granddaughter to Queenie Mandela in July. It includes a bridge across the lake, a pavilion and inscriptions of Mr. Mandela's quotes. The family visited the site of the garden in 2019, but the project, which was due to be completed in 2020, was delayed for two years due to the coronavirus pandemic. Great news! Tunacheki, Kunda Kids and Nala have partnered together to bring you Maua and the Garden of Plenty, our first African children's book for free. Nala is a money transfer app that uses the latest technology and works with local communities to make payment as hassle-free as possible. The easy-to-use app allows anyone to quickly send money from the UK to Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, with many other African countries and currencies coming soon at the lowest rates available. To get a free copy of Maua and the Garden of Plenty for yourself, family or friends, download the Nala app, Use the code KUNDAKIDS and make a transfer of as little as one pound. For those in the USA, you can download the app and RSVP for your free book coming next month. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.